Okay, if you're here, you probably know what this is. This, all these four figures, this is Super Lion figures. I finally got all four of them. Got Gold Ranger just a few days ago. Um, I might as well just talk about them. Because there are just a few things. Well, this is a chase figure for this year. Um, these are our... These two, Green and Lord Zed, were released uh, together earlier in March. And White and Gold were kind of separated by a month. This was the hardest. Uh, they're kind of hard to find depending on where you live. I found, These two were the hardest. But these two are actually quite easy. They came out in Walmart. I didn't even try to look for them. I just picked them up. It's probably still one of these. I think I saw like two White Rangers and one Gold Ranger. Anyway, let's start. Alright, four to four. I'm going to start with um, Tommy, the Green Ranger. Okay, all these figures have similar articulations. Um, their heads turn 360 degrees. Good elbow joints. I mean, the shoulders move, the elbows move, the wrists turn. Right here. Um, as for the legs, the legs have been spared. Um, this is what I mean. Uh, for the Jungle Master figures, they have this, um, they added these new joints that don't make the legs go as high. All of the Super Legend figures, not Lord Zed, but all the rest of them are clean. So they have these ball joints that the original Sound Fury figures have, like um, he has, so they have good articulation. Aw, oh, man, this is so Um, the knees bend 90 degrees, but um, the foot at the ankle does not bend like the Jungle Furry figures. See? Alright. Apart from all these, um, let's start with the shielding, because all three of these come with these shields. Um. For the compatibility of the shields, let's start with the Green Ranger. Uh, hang on. Alright, here are all the three shields uncovered. The green was a slip-on. Um, original, not the original ones from the older figures were um, snap-ons. This is a slip-on. You just slip it onto the Green Ranger like so. Um, for the other two, they're just snap-ons just like the older ones and as you can see the white ranger is white inside um, zeal gold ranger is um, black in terms of the underneath the shields I never seen a picture of zeal gold underneath but it's probably because I just haven't seen it yet white people complain that the diamonds they put diamonds here to represent um, my morphin power range even though this was from another series in Japan um, die ranger so it was a completely different um, suit However, I noticed that on another figure, older figure, movie figure, um, it also has a diamond pattern as well with a blank back, such as here. So they have done this before. It doesn't really completely ruin the figure. You can just put the shield on and leave it on. Green Ranger, pretty much as accurate as the show. Diamonds in front and back. Okay, let's start with the Green Ranger. As you can see, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger shield on the Green Ranger cannot fit. Um, apparently, the... Um, the Green Ranger is not skinny enough in this waist for this part to go through. It just can't fit. Um, the same goes for the Gold Ranger as well. Sucks. Now the White Ranger can put it put the Green Ranger shield on, pretty easily. I think this can also fit on the Gold too. I'll show that in a bit. Though it's it's somewhat kind of loose, but it is possible to put the put the Gold Ranger shield on the White Ranger. It is possible, as you can see here. It might be a little, so you see, like the little, it's kind of like a little hard to squeeze it in, but it can fit. Just like the White Ranger, the Gold Ranger can also wear the Green Ranger shield as well. As for the White Ranger shield, however, this one barely fits for some reason. I'm, I'm kind of somewhat surprised because you see, it can wear it somewhat, but it's like it looks like it's gonna come off. This is it, me pushing it all the way. Oh, and most likely these shields definitely won't fit on Lord Zed, of course. Uh, I forgot to mention Lord Zed's articulation. His tar articulation is more similar to another figure I have. Um, the Evil Space Alien, also known as Jared. 
Um, the arm said living in mobility. More on him. It's like Jared can lift up. It's the same. For Lord says his arms can go up a bit. He bends at the elbow, but his wrists don't turn. Um, the legs, same as him. It can't go straight forward when you lift them up. The Green Rangers and all of them, you can lift them straight forward. It kind of leans to the side, but it's still ball jointed. Innocent. Well, not exactly ball jointed. It's like that. We well, just have little balls under joints. All right. There you put these. All right. The last thing for me to say about is paint accuracy, as far as I know up to now. Um, these weapons, you can see they're colored. They're definitely not colored. If you get the packets, you have more some. These are all pretty much the same colors as silver. Plain, dull gray. More like gray. I had to repaint all of these. As for the figures, well, we'll start with Lord Zed. Lord Zed, I just found something. Let me go start. Alright, the back isn't painted. This is all red. The spine, I... Repaint his spine silver and his butt area is um, not painted as well. It's not connected. It's, all this is red. So you just have to paint the silver. As for, um, there is something else I just found today. I found a picture. Let me see if I can find it. Apparently, Laura Zed had claws. Yeah, I didn't even realize that until like just a few minutes ago. So I'm starting to put like. Hang on, I'm going too far in. I'm trying to put silver on his fingers to make the claw and a ring. He has like a little rings. And that's about it for Lord Zed. Gold Ranger. Gold Ranger, um, pretty much all this is pretty much just plain gold. It's the same color as the shield, but there is a tint of black in the, origi in the original pictures that I've seen. So, in art, there's also... It's, this is all gold here. This needs to be black inside the symbol. And so are the arms and the legs right here. This is easy to do. All you have to do is get, let me see, just get black paint, just splatter a bit on here and then wipe it off and it should fill in the space. White Ranger, don't, he's pretty accurate. The only thing I found, they just found also a few minutes ago, is just a, his belt. Um, the bell is supposed to be black in the middle, so you just have to put paint on it, just wipe it off again. Like pretty simple. He's pretty much the less painted needed. Green Ranger is the most difficult figure. First things first. Um, this is just gold. Just plain gold. It doesn't have... I painted it to be more like the Morpher with uh, a red ring around the coin. And little black dots around the edge. I'm sorry I can't see much in the photo. I apologize. But if you just see pictures of it, you know what I mean. Um, these little four corners aren't painted. As for the top, there's supposed to be a little gold around here. Um, that's about it. However, there are two versions of this figure. Um, this is more like for the show. There is one for... Power Rangers, the episode Fighting Spirit in Power Rangers Down and Thunder. As you can see, there's a bit of a difference. Um, there's more silver on the helmet, but this part's supposed to be more silver. There's definitely a difference from the show and the one costume shown in Fighting Spirit. Um, if you're painting, you can just choose which one you want. Um, let me see. Also, I just forgot to mention, um, I took this out and repainted it black. I prefer something was show more show accurate. If it was black. I don't know. I just did it anyway. So, it's kind of late to go back now. I don't know. <sighs> These figures were a bitch to find. They were. I was wearing my ass off over this guy particularly. I called Toys R Us and stores all the fucking time. Every day. And he just suddenly showed up in the day a few days later. Lord's Day was the first one I found. He was the one that gave me hope that it was coming to where I live. So eventually I just found all these four figures. So most like, so hopefully any of you guys who are watching this can get these figures as well. Because they are really good figures. Much better than the original figures of them out. They're more articulated, a little more accurate. That's about it. I just hope, you know, most of you guys can get it.